Hey folks, today we're joined by Nick and he's going to tell us all about his new Enforcer army that he's building for Firefight. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nick, I work on the web website here at Mantic Games. Uh, I'm the one who sets all the products up, makes sure that all the, the latest stuff is on there and it's priced correctly. Uh, so when Firefight was announced, I looked at it and went, oh I'd like to play, play an Enforcer army, thinking I'd have a nice low model count and well I've got a lot of models. Um, so. Uh, uh, I started out with the uh, Accuser. I thought that was a really nice, uh, really nice model, a really nice vehicle. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with it a little bit more, uh, dropping some enforcers out of it onto my uh, onto my opponents. Um, so uh, I built the transport version, um, which is quite fun. Really enjoyed putting the kit together. I thought it was brilliant, um, and then I painted it up for one of our blogs. So you might have seen this on the website already. Um, also, alongside that, I've got some in actual enforcers as well. So I've got uh, two squads here of uh, enforcer operatives, a squad of assault enforcers, some uh, heavy weapons enforcers over here with missile launchers, I've got some peacekeepers, uh, I've got two squads of pathfinders, and I've got a enforcer, enforcer peacekeeper captain with phase claws. Um, these guys have been really good for me. I uh, really like the, the, the aura of resilient they give. Um, with a quite a large amount of foot slogging, uh, foot slogging enforcers coming across the table, you need something to to stop them from uh, from being uh, shot up. Uh, speaking of being shot up, I've got some uh, some jet bikes here that are really good for like moving across the the battlefield really quickly, getting into those back lines and dealing with some of the artillery from the uh, the enemy forces. Uh, Johnny, you were saying that you wanted some pe some um, some jet bikes, weren't you? Yeah. So uh, I had this. Bright spark idea that I wanted to do like a pure jet bike army, and then I yeah. chickened out, and then you've gone away and sort of done it anyway. Copied you, and, Sorry. Uh, and now I'm quite jealous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could always get some more. Yeah, yeah, the more uh, the merrier. More the merrier. And then I've got some Striders as well. Uh, so I've got uh, an Ajax Strider, uh, Tank Buster, and I've got the the Pulse Slayer, what plays laser one as well. The only one I'm missing right now is the the close combat Strider. Um, Really been enjoying it. Uh, basing wise, I've put a bit of cork down on the bases. Uh, bought from the Mantic shop here, um, so the cork just sort of lay layers up the base a little bit and gives them a bit of uh, dimension on the basing. Um, I've still got a lot of models to paint though. Uh, I've only painted so far the Accuser and I've painted the Peacekeep Captain with claws. Um, the rest of it it's currently it's based gray i'm dry brushing over the top of this white and then i'll be layering up the uh the speed paints on top of that uh, and there's some orange accents on the on the models as well uh I, i've really been struggling to paint orange uh put, I'll put a lot of layers on to make it really vibrant uh but it's uh, i think it's looking quite nice well worth the effort yeah absolutely worth the effort uh and yeah uh, I'm really enjoying the bases. The base on the the captain, I much prefer. So I, I'm thinking of rebasing the the accuser a little bit because it's got a bit of a grey base at the moment to go with a grey model. But uh, I think the the brown base will really make them pop a little bit more. It's often the case when you're doing something like a, a full army is by the time you've got to the end models, you've changed slightly what you yeah absolutely what you the think recipe. works, and then you you've got to go back and and do the beginning again. Yeah, absolutely. There is that. Um, next steps for what I'm looking to add to the army. Um, my command at the moment is two enforcer peacekeeper captains, so maybe uh, a sergeant, uh, an enforcer sergeant maybe. Uh, I was looking at that the other day, um, just to just diversify the command orders that I can give to my to give to my army a little bit, uh, because I think that um, it'll be a little bit uh, give me a little bit more play on the tabletop, so that I can um, move, so I can do different different actions basically. Um, a bit of Tactical bit, versatility. A bit more tactical versatility, absolutely, yes. Um, so I'm looking at that, maybe some medics as well, um, because obviously it's quite a tough army. Uh, things don't die immediately, so being able to, to heal up is quite nice as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Nick. We look forward to seeing the rest of it all painted soon. Uh, yes, thank you very much.